Hi guys, this is Scott Harmer with Motorsportsland in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to take a look at the 2015 Sunset Trail Reserve Package 26RB. Um, right from the start you can see the nice color infused gel coat. That's really nice so that if you uh, ever do scratch or anything, it's the same color underneath as it is right on, right, right on, the, on the outside. Um, going around you can see your gas ram on the door which holds it for the wind. Um, so it doesn't uh, open and close on, on, on its own. You got an electric awning with a row of nice LED lights to shine up the campsite at night. It's a nice addition. It's all LED lighting, so it uses 1 50th less battery power than any incandescent lighting, so you don't have to worry about keeping it you know, on and off all the time. You've got a huge pass-through storage that's lit up, able to hold any of your barbecues or anything that's going all the way through, your long stuff, shovels, whatnot. You can also see that you've got a fiberglass front cap on it. This is where you can kind of di differentiate the, the trailer from uh, lower quality of trailers. Um, this is kind of where all the abuse comes on a trailer as it's going down the road. Another nice row of LED lights off the front. Um, electric jack up and down, plus it's got a nice light for getting on and off the trailer. Uh, twin five gallon propane on the front of it here. Again, more LED lights for your convenience. Um, fresh water connection up front, this is a nice idea because a lot of trailers you have to fill up the water through the city water connection which means you have to have constant pressure and power. So if you're at a campground you can hook up to here and pressurize the system allowing you not to use your, your water pump. If you're not, you can just top it off by this and go dry camping. Also if you're going to be someplace for an extended period of time and you, you, know, you run a little bit low on water you don't have to take the whole trailer someplace to fill it up, you can just bring extra water to the trailer. You've got a six gallon hot water heater, which is either gas or electric. So you can uh, use that either way. And then down here, you've also got electric stabilizing jacks that are controlled on all four corners as well. You can see the nice big depth of your slide, giving you lots and lots of room in the main part of the coach. 30 amp service. Little amenities, like an actual spare tire cover, you know, that's hard. You've got three inch rolled down on your roof to cover up any, you know, seams on the corners. Three inch drain spout as well. Nice good radius on the top of the roof, so if snow or any ice does melt, it becomes, you know, straight off of the trailer instead of puddling and can cause concave on it. Um, black tank flush clears out your black tank with easy to do here so you don't have to take a hose inside the trailer that's been in everybody else's um, toilet, fill it up empty, fill it up empty. You just hook it on here, turn it on, it flushes out the entire black tank. Hot cold shower on the outside as well. The reserve package also comes equipped with a bumper mount grill so you can cook outside. Hooks into your existing propane right through here. It's a nice addition to the outside kitchen. You've got a nice big refrigerator and plenty of storage through here to need anything that you need to cook outside. Nice sink is nice to kind of wash hands on kids and just kind of take care of things from the outside. It alleviates all of the in and out traffic to the regular part of the trailer. You've got a wide stance suspension on your axles, giving it 16 inches in between each tire instead of the typical three or four. What that does is it makes it so that the weight is distributed a lot more evenly a lot less sway while you're towing and also if you ever hit anything in the road it's more of an, a, a roll effect instead of an abrupt hit so it's kind of better on the coach it's better on the cabinets everything about it a secondary front side slide you've got a tv mount out here so you can take your existing tv in the front pull it out here watch it underneath the awning you've got satellite and cable hookups here as well as as well as 110 power this coach is an ultralight. It weighs 6462 as far as its weight capacity, so it can be towed with any small SUV, you know, half ton or less. Uh, makes it nice you don't have to get a huge one ton truck to be able to, to pull a good sized trailer like this, especially with two slides. Come on in. Coming to the trailer, you can kind of immediately see that it's, it's a definitely a, a very, very, very upper end trailer. You know, from amenities as far as, you know, televisions, having a fireplace and a bumper pull trailer is a pretty, pretty nice option. It's electrical, puts off a really good flame. You can set it by different temperatures as well as a time setting that'll shut up shut automatically after a while. It's an AM, FM, CD, DVD player. So you can put a movie in here 
watch it on the TV, but listen to it surround sound. The TV also swivels around, so you can watch it either in the main salon or in the bedroom. Coming up front, you've got an actual 60 by 80 queen size bed. That's a standard queen. So if you do wanna get extra sheets and stuff like that, you can get any of your local stores. You've got really good storage underneath the bed. I love that it's separated so you can have a separation between your pass-through storage where you may keep your barbecues and grills and stuff like that. And in here where you can keep your linens and extra bedding and stuff like that. So it's separated, you're not mixing dirt and bedding. Nice gas ram on that to hold up the bed. You've got really good storage, wardrobe, hanging lockers, and these go all the way through and they are one solid piece storage. Nice stands up here for your wallet or keys or anything you want to have immediate access to. You'll notice day night shades throughout the trailer everywhere with the exception of by the um, sink top just because it's uh, you have the chance to have splashing water on there and their fabric. With the two slides in the middle you have a really really open feel in the main salon area. It gives you the ability to have a nice countertop you know, additional countertop storage is always good in the smaller units like this. A nice high rise faucet. You've got a really good double stainless steel sink with sink covers. And then this entire center island is all storage. Got an actual section for your garbage so you don't have to hang a garbage bag anywhere to hold that. Again, full length drawers. Metal ball bearings on your drawers, so the drawers are meant to be open and closed every single day as opposed to every two or three, you know, third weekend. It's kind of the difference between a, a high-end trailer and just your run-of-the-mill. All solid surface countertops, all um, real wood between your, your fascias, your cabinetry, oversized oven, good size microwave. You've got an eight cubic foot refrigerator. It's the largest of the, the two-door type of refrigerators. Just great storage everywhere you look. You'll notice on a lot of these bigger compartments too, your storage is all adjustable. So you can take, you know, if you're gonna do just wardrobe, you can take these shelves out. If you're gonna do you know, more cabinets, you can do like that. It's nice to be able to adjust it to how you particularly use your trailer yourself. And just full length drawers everywhere. Digital thermostat, set that to the temperature that you need and it kicks on and off just like your home. Going into the bathroom, you've got a real residential style shower with hard doors. Great storage again. Um, porcelain toilet with a foot flush. Nice, deep, and a really good medicine cabinet. Coming into the dining area of the slide, you've got an oversized dinette here, which is a nice area that, you know, that four adults can sit down and not be rubbing elbows and knees. Drops down to a bed as well. These become the cushions. On the inside, you've actually got storage cabinets that come out. You can load this in the house, in and wherever. You can take it out, load it, put it back. It's a lot easier way to do that than either lifting up the seat or going through here and trying to fish stuff out. This is one of my absolute favorites. If you've never seen this bed come to life, if you're, if you're actually gonna take a second adult couple or some other kids, your kids are growing up, whatever, this bed is unbelievable in the RV industry. Having this open up so easy. That down, and then these go back to the top. And become the cushions. If you're, an adult person, an extra couple, that is a really nice, comfortable, solid bed that's easy to you know put up and down. There's no extra pieces you need to look for. Definitely a huge innovation in the RV industry. Easily put right back up to a nice sofa. Again, this was a look at the 2015 Sunset Trail Reserve 
26RB. Here at Motorsports Ed in Salt Lake City, come on down and see us. 801-262-2921. Thanks. Let Motorsports Land guide you to the dreams of